Hello, everybody. Welcome to an online version of Survey Criminal Justice. My name is Joel Capujan, and I will be your instructor uh, for this semester. Again, this is Survey Criminal Justice, Justice Section 6, that meets on Tuesdays from 2 to 4.45 p.m., Science Hall, Room 254. If you're not in this class, you should probably leave now. All right, those who stayed. Again, my name is Joel Capajan, uh, and I'm sorry I couldn't be there uh, today. Currently, uh, I'm in San Salvador, in El Salvador. I'm actually going to be flying out as you guys. Um, yeah, I probably will be flying as you hear this on Tuesday. Uh, and so, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't be there on time, but uh, I leave you guys on um, with very capable hands with... Um, with Alexa. Uh, she's fantastic. You guys will have fun. Uh, the purpose of this video is just to just go over um, the syllabus and my expectations uh, and, and sort of the structure of the course for this, the remainder of the semester. Um, Alexa will then, um, you know, do her lecture and then, you know, we'll meet again next Tuesday and just, you know, answer whatever questions and finish the lecture. Um, and just keep going, keep up going. Um, so, in terms of uh, contact info, all my contact info is here. My preferred way it, uh, uh, for you to contact me is email. Um, I usually respond to emails within 24 hours. I usually respond emails very early in the morning. So, keep that in mind that if you send me an email at 4 p.m., on a given day, I'm probably not going to get back to you until 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. of the next um, of the next day. The, the The second best way to reach me is is my office hours. I've set office hours on Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. You don't have to set an appointment. You can just show up. Of course, setting an appointment is always appreciated. Uh, but that's my contact info. Course description. Uh, this is a survey of criminal justice, which means that it's an introductory course and it's an overview of the criminal justice system and its main components and deals with the nature of crime, criminal responsibility, elements of social control. It also surveys the criminal justice process from all the way from the arrest through uh, the correct, uh, judicial and correctional phases. And so at the completion of this course, um, you know, you guys are going to have a very solid understanding of the n n complex nature of the criminal justice system and the independent, the interdependent nature of police, courts, and corrections. Um, students uh, should, uh, will have an appreci appreciation of the philosophical differences between the criminal justice system and the juvenile system as well. Um, of, we meet for about two and a half hours a week, um, once a week. Uh, but you should be expecting to do about six hours of work that includes reading, reflecting, preparing assignments, reviewing notes, preparing for exams, etc. Sort of on average per week. Um, this course is going to be heavily reliant on Blackboard for everything. Everything meaning um, my my uh, lecture notes are going to be available on Blackboard. My the you know sometimes the readings will be available on Blackboard. Um, the homework assignment will be available on Blackboard. So if you just take a quick look at my Blackboard site, increase this, there we go. You see, first of all, the syllabus is here. Uh, any any um, changes that I made to the syllabus will be reflected here as well. And for each topic, I do have the lecture. Um, for topic one, you know, I'll put the lecture here, lecture part one, and also I left chapter one for you to read because I'm, you know, you guys are probably not going to have time to get the book the first week of classes. But so uh, the chapter one is there. Also, um, you know, assignments, assignments are going to be given to you through Blackboard. So here you have, for example, assignment one, which asks you to read chapter one, which you'll find in here in topic one um, and this, you're going to write it up and then you're going to submit it here through submission uh, and, and, and the homework homework are always going to be due on Mondays on Mondays at 10 p.m. Mondays before class at 10 p.m. Uh, no, no exceptions so you're going to be reading chapter one answer a couple of questions 
And you know, the, you know, the assignments are short. It's a you know short writing assignments, but you know you should try to answer you know to answer the question, uh, the questions fully. Uh, you know, uh, so, so it, what that means is don't worry about the length. Answer the question to the best of your ability. Read the question very carefully. Answer the question to the best of your ability, as complete as possible, and notwithstanding the length. Um, and once you have that answer, you should look at the grading rubric. This is what I'm going to be grading you on. And you should be, and, 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 and by looking at this, you should have an idea of, of, of where you are, what, how much you included. So, you know, make sure that you take your time with these kinds of assignments because uh, they're worth a lot. And we'll talk a little bit about that. So once you're ready to submit the assignment, um, just... Um, just go to um, submission uh, and submit it. Very, very important. Um, turn it in. Sends you an email receipt um, when you, once you submit it. Uh, if you don't get an email receipt, it means that you didn't submit it. Um, again, it is not an excuse that you didn't get that it wasn't that the submission quote unquote didn't go through. It's not an excuse that turn it in didn't send you the email receipt. If you didn't get an email receipt, you didn't submit it, so make sure that you take the appropriate steps, either emailing me the assignment before 10 p.m. on Monday, um, or, or something like that. Um, so make sure that you are on top of that, because because I get that all the time. I didn't, quote unquote, the assignment didn't go through, can I submit it today? The answer is going to be um, no. Um, so let's see. So some of the learn, uh, server learning outcomes, um, you know, you guys are going to learn how to describe the historical, theoretical, legal foundations of policing, courts, and correctional systems. Students will be able to identify and uh, describe major developments in human history and, and thought that led to the current criminal justice system, and gain an understanding of the day to day criminal justice process um, uh, in, in, the, in the U.S., develop a basic understanding of the theories of crime and victimization. Establish familiarity with different careers in the field of criminal justice. Develop a basic understanding of the three main components of the criminal justice system, which is police, courts, corrections, and most importantly, to think critically about the criminal justice system. So what are your responsibilities? Again, this course is heavily relying on, on Blackboard and email for communications and sh information sharing. So of course, check your Blackboard and email frequently. Every day you should be doing that, not just for my class, but every class. Um, students are asked not to arrive uh, late or uh, leave early. It is very disruptive. Um, uh, it's a, a little bit disrespectful to not just me, but also other students that manage to get there on time. Um, you know, I, you know, it's it's okay if it happens once in a while. Don't make a pattern out of it because it's just very um, very disruptive. Um, all assignments should be professionally written. You should, you know, the assignments, the, the weekly assignments. You should, you should you should take your time with those because they're worth um, quite a bit, um, you know. And students should be expected to behave in a professional manner. You know, we are going to be discussing um, controversial issues in the criminal justice system, and so everybody should feel free to share uh, their opinion. And you know, if you disagree with someone's opinion, you can disagree with it in a in a professional, polite uh, manner. Uh, faculty mailbox, um, you know, I have a faculty mailbox on the Campbell uh, floor, fifth floor Campbell, Campbell Library. So if you decide to leave something there, a homework assignment or something, I don't expect that should be the case. But if you do, make sure that you email me so that I know you left it there. Now, the required text, the text that is going to be required for this course is the Criminal Justice in America, ninth edition by Cole Smith and Dijon. Um, you know, the ninth edition, make sure you get this book. Uh, you know, the homework assignments are going to be based on, on this book. You will need this book. Now, how you get this book is up to you. There's three choices. First choice is that you can buy the book at the bookstore. Um, that's going to cost you a penny. Uh, not a penny, but $150 worth of pennies. Uh, so it's very expensive. So if you need if you need a more um, a cheaper solution, you can also um, rent the book, the same gauge, um, at a much greater discount. 
Um, you can also buy the 8th edition on Amazon. You know, that's also not a problem uh, with me. And if you don't want to spend any money at all, I usually leave, well, not I usually, but I do leave a copy, or my one personal copy uh, at the library reserve. So you may pick it up for three hours, scan it, read it, copy it, you know, and then you return it. So, you know, you have all those choices, at least four choices, whatever you choose, whatever works best for you, that's great. But you need the book, you need to read it every week. Uh, course requirements. You know, the, your grades will come from a couple of sources. First of all, it's attendance and participation. That's 10%. Writing assignments, 20%. Four quizzes, each worth five points or 5% of your final grade up for a total of 20%. You have two exams, each of them worth 15% of your final grade. And the final exam, which is worth 20%. Now, I want to talk a little bit about attendance and participation because attendance is required. And if you happen to miss more than three classes, three or more classes, um, you know, you may be asked to uh, withdraw from the class. You know, we meet, you know, we're meeting about 13 times this semester. Um, you know, I cannot, allow, you know, it is not, I cannot allow you to miss, you know, almost 30% of the time and, you know, it's still, um, and still pass. So, you know, think about that. Make sure that you try to come to each class because each class is a topic. It's a week's worth of material that we are going to be covering. Um, you know, attendance and participate. Uh, um, you know, and and every time you every time you you um, have an unexcused attendance, I mean, an unexcused um, absence. Five points will be deducted from your attendance and participation grade. So essentially, you miss two times and you lose ten percent of your final grade. Unexcused, of course. Um, you know, um, excused absences will be handled by, uh, per university attendance policy, which you can find here. Um, there, are, you know, there are a couple of reasons that the university thinks is justifiable for you to miss class, like a medical emergency religious holiday that if that is your case then that's fine any other any other um, excuse is not really you know you know and yet it will not really I cannot accept those excuses because the university doesn't accept them uh, so take a look at that um, so uh, course policy on exams and uh, accepting late work you know you know for me to accept you know, makeup work, whether quizzes, exams, or homework, three, three things need to happen. The first thing is that you need to notify me um, before you miss the, the class or miss the assignment. Of course, sometimes you're going to have emergencies. So in, this, in those cases, just make sure you reach out to me personally as soon as you possibly can. Let, keep me in the loop, all right? Um, Second is that you need to have a reason for missing the exam or not completing the homework assignment on time that you, the university actually finds um, valid, like a religious holiday, illness, documented by a doctor's note, or required um, participation in athletic events. That's really important. Uh, and third, there needs to be documentation. I need evidence. Don't I, I will not take your word. Uh, it's not that I don't trust you, it's that the university has those guidelines for me to follow. So make sure that the communication is provided. If any of those three, three things are not present, then unfortunately, um, I cannot, um, I cannot uh, accept your work. Um, I'm not trying to be a hard ass. I'm not trying to be mean or a bad person. Those are just the rules that are laid out by the university. I'm a university employee, and so I follow those rules, and you should follow those rules as well. Um, so, uh, writing assignments. Students are required to complete a short writing assignment. In these assignments, students will respond to and explore issues throughout the term. Um, and, you know, these assignments, you're expected to put a significant effort because they serve as a way for you to keep track of ideas, and respond to problems that we're going to be discussing each week, found on each chapter. You will need the book, the textbook, for these writing assignments. Now, quizzes. Quizzes will consist of multiple choice, sure answer, true, false, fill, fill in the blanks, and uh, all the types of questions. And we'll usually cover about two chapters. Each quiz, again, is worth about 5% of your final grade. 
finals, I mean exams, exams are essentially, you know, longer versions of quizzes, same kind of, the same kind of questions, uh, question format, and, and, you know, um, they will cover about three chapters each uh, exam, and with the final exam being cumulative, meaning that it will cover, um, it will cover absolutely everything during the semester. Uh, student accommodations, again, you know, you know, Rowan, you know, Rowan University really cares for your success. So if, if you have a documented disability, um, or if you think you have a disability and or a need that needs to be, uh, that needs to be helped. Um, make sure that you contact me, make sure that you contact the Academic Success Center and we can set whatever accommodations you need for you to be successful in this class. We're also going to be relying on Growing Success Network if you guys, powered by Starfish, if you guys don't know what that is, essentially it's a monitoring system where in the middle of the semester, you know, I, you know, would I, if, I, if you have been falling off the wagon, getting bad grades, missing classes, I will create flags, and if enough flags are raised by me and other professors, that will prompt a um, response from your academic advisor, and they will ask you to meet um, with them and with us to sign a way forward, right? So it's like an early warning system so that you don't fall completely off the wagon, you can get back in it and, and finish the semester uh, successfully. Uh, policy and academic honesty, guys. Uh, you can read that. It essentially, you know, says plagiarism is just dishonest, is immoral, and is highly punishable by the university. Please, anytime you use other people's ideas, make sure that you cite them, right? Um, please don't copy other people's work. Um, I, as a university employee, when I when I when I detect uh, plagiarism, I have no choice. But to report it, and the punishments are quite are quite uh, harsh. So make sure that um, you can read things, read things more carefully. Make sure that you don't uh, you, you don't plagiarize. Finally, here we have a preliminary outline of the readings and assignments, the topics throughout the semester. This is my first time teaching this class uh, once a week, so I try to do I try to do it in the best way that I. In a, in a pace that I think is comfortable for us, but again, I don't know. I mean, we're probably gonna stick to this closely, but I don't know how far we're gonna, you know, if we're gonna be delayed, or if we're gonna be get ahead of a little bit. I'm not, I'm not really sure. So, you know, this is totally tentative, just to give you an idea of the kinds of topics and how uh, spaced out the exams and the quizzes and the homework uh, will be from one another. Again, this is only. Uh, tentative changes uh, to this uh, will be noted during class. That's another reason why you should come to class. Um, I think that is everything I have for, for now. What I would suggest is that any questions that you have, write them down. Write them down right now. Right now, do it right now. Write them down. Okay. And and next week, uh, next Tuesday, uh, we'll have some time. Uh, to go over those uh, over those questions. Importantly, remember that um, importantly remember that home your first assignment is going to be due on next Monday at 10 p.m. and you need to read chapter one for that. I know that you don't have the book yet. That most of you don't have the book. Uh, if you don't have the book right now, don't worry about it. Chapter one is copied here. Uh, but that's the only chapter that I will make a copy and put it here. So make sure that you get the book by next um, week. Um, now I would hand this off to Alexa. Alexa, thank you very much. You're great. You guys have fun with Alexa. And I'll see you guys um, next week.